what happens if you drop your CPU in an overclocked computer fan? Well, in today's video, we're going to find out just that. So a lot of times, not really, not at all, not ever, uh, you drop computer hardware in, also not really ever, uh, computer fans that are going really, really fast. And I wanted to see what happens if, um, well, can your computer parts survive the uh, finger chopping experience as we did in the last video and uh, see what happens if you just drop the CPU uh, right in there to, you know, see what happens. So we're going to try a bunch of different components and see what happens when we, you know, drop them in a, in overclocked fans. A lot of you guys in the last episode wanted some Delta fans. So I've got some, actually I had some. So uh, we're going to try the CPU experience. Uh, we're just going to put in the, uh, the tip. Some RAM sticks. Try a graphics card. Oh yes, yeah, so let's try a Wish graphics card. So yeah, without further ado, let's uh, start overclocking some fans. So to just give you a, a quick uh, taste of what we're looking at there, that would be it. So I hope you're excited as I am for the Delta fan at the end of this video. Let's try a couple other things while we wait. So I've got some jumper cables here. Let's start off with a, a couple classics to see if our, our CPU has any damage. Great guys, so this is your normal fan. It's actually kind of quiet. Real quick though, I need to make sure that we are fully prepared for today's video. So as always, as uh, I always tell all my viewers, anytime you're doing something risky, make sure you have and you are wearing some protection. I, I have to bring back the hammer just to say hello. Hammer's not staying around for long though. Got some pliers to uh, lock our CPU into place. Let's do this. Let's get. Let's go. I'm gonna just dip the side in. Wait for this to go full speed and uh, see what happens. Y'all can see this, right? Oh man! So what does the edge of our CPU look like at the moment? Um. I think the pliers did more damage than the uh, the corner that got a... Uh... Yeah, it doesn't look like much happened. You've got the corner of the CPU here, and uh, nothing really happened. You might get a little bit nick on like the, the bottom layer PCB, uh, but it's definitely still going to work. I guess the next question that we have here, what happens if we overclock this up a little bit and, uh, you know, drop in? You know, you're just... You, you accidentally drop it, it's just... You know, you're, you're building your computer and you, you turn it on. Why you wouldn't have the CPU in, but you turn on your computer. You know, don't ask. Maybe you forgot it. You forgot. You were building your computer and you just kind of forgot that you're supposed to have a CPU in there. Um, and you, you, you realize that you have forgotten to put your CPU in there. So you immediately break open the packaging and sending the CPU flying into your already on computer with the fans running. So uh, let's try that. Right, guys, we need... Need the protection. Let's wait for it to get up to uh, full speed, everybody. And uh, let's just uh, let it drop. Ooh! So right away, we're greeted with... Um, yeah, nothing actually too, new, too surprising here. Yet some plastic. I think the fan might... Yeah, the fan got it more than the CPU did. Yeah, actually, I wouldn't even notice it unless you pointed me to it. Yeah, but the fans, man, the fans are getting it. Okay, we've tried the just dropping the CPU and let's see if the RAM's any different before we overclock it up. Protection, protection guys, protection. So what are we looking like on the RAM stick? Well, if you drop your RAM in there, um, yeah, it doesn't really do anything either. You drop your RAM in your, in your overclocked fan, well, uh, You'll, you'll, you'll be you'll be fine. We already established though that if you put your hot dog in there while well, uh, in the last video uh, it may may um, may not be too fun. Uh, so definitely putting your RAM in there. You wouldn't put your hot dog in there so you shouldn't put your RAM in there either. Nor should you RAM your hot dog into the fan either. Let's do the drop test. What's the excuse for this time? Um, the excuse is you're going through and you're building your computer and um, Maybe the RAM fell out, you know, you 
Don't ask. Don't don't ask. Maybe you just forgot to put the RAM in there all the way, and it's it's magically turned on, and uh, it, the RAM just kind of like falls out. It bounces around and falls out. Okay, it it. it it does that. Maybe it bounces around, you know, falls out, bounces off the graphics card and straight into the fan. That, that's totally what happens. And this is why you should need to know this totally. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. We need protection guys. Whew. Don't forget. I hate for this fan to blow up and well, I mean, my eyes would be the least of my concern. The strap will go straight into my chest guys. Here we go. The fans on everybody. Oh, let's, let's see what happens when we, uh, try a graphics card. Try the graphics card before we move on to the overclocking part of this. Um, yeah, let's just turn this on. I've got protection, guys. What's the story for this, though? Um, say you're the Verge, okay? You're the Verge, and you put your power supply in the opposite way, but the right way, according to the Verge, at least, uh, where the fan is on the top. Then you're going to drop your power, your, your graphics card just happens to fall out, and it goes straight into the fan on the top of the power supply. Now this is kind of dangerous because you know your power supply has a lot of high voltage electrical components, and uh, you'd hate for all those like bits of metal to get in there. That'd be really bad. Um, we'll also say that you read somewhere online you're supposed to remove the grate on top that prevents that. So this is totally accurate. Um, so yeah, you, your 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 graphics card sitting in there, and it just uh, just just happens to fall out and get jammed. Oh man. Dude, that sounded nasty, dude. Yo, we lost the tip, guys. If you uh, get your graphics card jammed, you, you could risk uh, losing the tip. Now, I'm obviously not going to do, like, the electrical components in here. We know, we know what would happen. You can knock off a capacitor. We've concluded that you're not going to present much danger to parts, even if you put them in a regular computer fan. Well, I guess the next logical option here, let's try uh, overclocking it. So I'm going to see how high we can get this real quick. So uh, right here, I have the fan overclocked to twice, well, not overclocked, overvolted, over, okay. In the last video, y'all made a big deal about how I said this was overclocked. I understand it's overvolted, guys, but it sounds cooler to say it's overclocked. Because technically, a clock is going around once. So guess what? It's overclocked. It's going around more than it should. Deal with it. Okay, so uh, next up, let's try our let's try a redo of our uh, our CPU experiment. How do we justify this one though? Uh, we justify it by saying that uh, you had a power surge. Uh, you were concerned that your CPU might be fried. So in the middle of the power surge, you guys you just open up that CPU, rip off your cooler, motherboard and everything, bits of motherboard, you know, and then you rip out the CPU and it just falls into your your your, your overclocked fan. Totally. So, uh, let's turn this on, and, um... Oh, I need protection, guys. We're getting to the point where we, we need some serious protection. We might need to double up. Actually, don't do that. This is really not a smart idea. Let's try it. Holy crap! Yeah, I gotta be careful. I put more damage because of the pliers than I have because of the... The fans. And the fans look like they're gotten some damage too. Okay. So our fans are, well, looks like the CPU survives. Let's try the RAM. Um, we got protection. We're all good. Oh, man. Ooh. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Basically, same same premise. You, uh, you're you in the middle of a power surge and your fan is just, just going full blast. So you realize you probably should pull out your RAM because you've already got your CPU and uh, the RAM's the next most valuable thing in your system. And so you yank that out and uh, it gets jammed right in your, your overclocked fan there. Yeah, totally. Uh, it doesn't look like it does anything, so you're just fine. Let's try the graphics card though. This is gonna be the fun one, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, on the good news is your graphics card, at least if you get the, 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 um, the tip then it looks like you'll be, you'll be just fine. Uh, it may be a little nicked up. Uh, if the power surge doesn't get it, uh, the fan won't. So then the next question to ask is what about our, um, our buddy here, the overclocked one. So, um, I'm going to need to get more protection than we already have here today. Uh, I'm going to have to hold this down. Okay. So this is a Delta fan. Um, this is rated for 12 volts, 
0.75 amps, almost a whole amp worth of current that's going through these yeah, little wires. Um, let's go through and uh, try our CPU. Uh, That CPU did not make, uh-uh. Woo! It smells like cooked CPU. That CPU is not making it. Um, mm-mm. Uh, let's try the, uh, the RAM. Um, protection, guys. Oh, this is done. This is done. This lost a uh, resistor. I probably should not. Have. I just realized I did the 16 gig stick instead of the 4 gig stick that I probably should have done. And I have no idea where the little resistor went for it. Let's try the graphics card now. Yeah, guys, um, I'm going to be honest with you. I really don't know what overclocking is going to do because I, I don't even feel comfortable putting it in all the way. Holy crap, I got shot by something. The fan got nicked, dude. That's why you wear protection, guys. Yo, this Delta fan is, has broken off pieces. The CPU, holy crap. You got some serious, like, serious marks on the side of it. Okay. Um, so at this point, uh, the excuse that I'd use for why uh, this would happen in the, well, in the same people environment is, uh, you work at a server company. You have a server CPU with server RAM. And, uh, you accidentally, uh, turn on the server while you're working on it. But rather than putting your finger in the, uh, well, that, uh, you instead drop the CPU you're trying to install. But I have a red mark on the side of my arm because that's how fast the shrapnel came off of this fan. If that's not a reason to subscribe because I do stupid stuff on this channel, then you definitely should. Uh, the graphics card, I really, you know, that's going to be the most dangerous thing I've done so far. I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal right now. You subscribe. And um, I'll drop the graphics card in. It's a deal? Okay, let's do it. Yeah, this is gonna blow up. I'm, I'm really kind of worried. Well, let's do it. If I don't see you guys, this is my last video. I just wanna let you know, I love every single one of you. Wouldn't change it for a thing. Um, that concludes our adventure today because Every single one of the fans have, um, well, disintegrated. Oh yeah, and in case I forgot to mention, um, none of the parts work. None of them. Nada. Nothing. None of the parts work when you put them back in the computer. So I broke every single one of the parts, every single one, for today's video. So if you don't subscribe for that, I don't know what you should subscribe for. Uh, if you drop your CPU or your graphics card into your, well, into your server when you're upgrading it, you may not have much of an issue, uh, but I would be concerned for your safety uh, because if you're not wearing protection, then you're going to have a little bit of an issue. Uh, your parts may nick off a couple capacitors, resistors, transistors, all that fun stuff, uh, but you should be fine. I wouldn't recommend it though. Uh, there's been a lot of videos I've done on here that have been kind of stupid. This one, I was pleasantly surprised with how actually stupid it was. Um, you guys recommended this fan. Uh, I am not disappointed uh, whatsoever. I hope you guys aren't too. So anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed. And of course, give it a like as well. Um, have an absolutely wonderful day. Goodbye.